Hi guys, welcome back to, oh god, what's going on here? Hi guys and welcome back to another Invisalign video. It's been a while since I've done an update because one, not much has changed and two, um, my neighbours are really noisy so I find it quite hard to find a time when they're not noisy so I can film and conveniently as I just about start to film in, someone's turned up on my driveway. Brilliant timing. So in today's video, my main topic of conversation will be what I carry around with me on a day-to-day -day basis now that I have Invisalign. So I know a lot of you have been asking me questions about stuff like that, so that's why I'm making this video for you. So I am now on tray six, so I'm nearly halfway through my process of Invisalign. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of things that I show in this bag, I don't actually use now. I use them a lot in the first three or four trays, but now that I've gotten used to wearing them and um, how much of a process it is on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I don't actually carry this whole bag around with me, but this is something that I hope benefit you guys who are starting out on your first couple of Invisalign trays. So this is my little bag. This bag I actually got from Boots. Um, if you're in America, you'll probably see something like this in Target, but Boots is just like a, an on a drugstore. It's got all your, cos your cosmetics and hair dye and stuff like that. But yeah, this, were, this came in a pack and this is like the perfect size to fit in my handbag. So I'm just gonna take things out as I go. First thing is, is a mini mouthwash. This is brilliant to carry around with you, especially when you've had your lunch, go back to the toilet to brush your teeth and you know, you've got these in for the rest of the day. It's not gonna taste nice if you've still got the taste of the food that you've been eating, so definitely I would recommend using one of these. I obviously have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, Self-explanatory really. Brush your teeth every single time you eat. Obviously take these out before you eat, put them back in afterwards. So once I take these out, I eat, brush my teeth and then I brush my trays so that they're nice and fresh as well. And then I pop them back in. I also carry around a couple of mini ones. Um, Sensodyne is really good for the first couple of trays that you get. Your teeth are very sensitive when you pop a new tray in. I would say that I use Sensodyne the first two days after I've had a new tray put in. So yeah, Sensodyne, definitely look into that if you have sensitive teeth and sensitive gums. Vaseline, everyone knows why you need Vaseline. Your lips are gonna get dry. Your gums are also gonna get quite dry as well. So I do sometimes put this on the gums, especially on the parts where the tray is rubbing. So this is definitely a must have in your bag. Same with Vaseline, Bongella. Um, I know this is meant for little kiddies, or I think it's like a teething. Is it teething? Effective pain relief from mouth ulcers. So you will get mouth ulcers from your tray, especially your first tray, because it's a foreign object in your mouth. Your gums aren't gonna like it, your tongue probably isn't gonna like it either. So around the outside of your tongue, and I would say normally these parts of where your gums are, that is where you're probably gonna get the biggest ulcers or the most rubbing. So I definitely recommend using this. There is another one that my friend gave to me. Um, she's got a small child, so she used that on him. And honestly, it numbed my gum so well. It was so good, but I can't remember what it's called. So I'll have to look at that, and I'll probably leave it down below in my comments. But yeah, some smints. <laughs> we know why we need these. We wear these all day, so your breath's gonna smell. So yeah, definitely take some of these or Tic Tacs or chewing gums. You can't obviously chew chewing gum when you've got your trays in, but definitely something that you can freshen your mouth with. And then the last thing that I carry around with me are my chewies. So these, whoop, that's on the floor. These are the ones that, um, this is the one that I got given when I actually went to find this dental. Um, this came with my, if you can see that, my bag. And I don't, I think they actually make these themselves, but it's like a plastic tube and it's got metal down the center. And that is what it's for. It, in a way, just pushes your, your tray up and secures it in place. Make sure that it's not like sliding down. I know you've got your attachments to make sure they clip on and stay in the position, but that's what this is for. And I ordered one of these ones off of eBay because of all of the Invisalign videos that I've seen on YouTube, the American people have little ones, and I was like, I'd rather carry around a little one than a big one. <laughs> so I got 
these small ones they don't do as well as these but they're smaller and they're handier and of course you carry around your just the box that you keep your trays in so definitely carry this around with you if you go to a restaurant or anything like that the worst thing that i've found is if i don't have this with me i'll take them out pop them on the side and then i'll just knock them on the floor or i'll forget that they're there and like the waitress will like touch them and stuff and it's just like embarrassing so definitely carry this around with you especially if you're eating out or you know at work and you're sitting at your desk and you're eating you don't want to put your trays on something that's not sanitary if you know what I mean but I hope you found that helpful guys I obviously found this quite helpful looking into it when I was getting Invisalign and what when I first started out with Invisalign I wanted to find out what sort of things I should carry around with me so I hope this has benefited you um with regards to my teeth they have definitely moved I don't know if you can tell but yeah, they're definitely getting a lot straighter. Um, I should be on to tray seven next week, so that is my halfway mark. So I will probably be doing a more in-depth video on that next week, so just stay tuned for that. But I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you want to see any more of my teeth updates. And I will see you soon. Bye!